Hello, this is Jason P. Wilson 01 X Force, and this is my Marvel pull list for the week of August 24th, 2011. And today's the 26th, it is a Friday. And first up here for my Marvels is the much anticipated issue one of the new Ultimates. Now, it came in a poly bag, and it's a cool poly bag. I mean, I have a shirt like this, and I think it's neat. But usually when Ultimate uh, Comics did ha have done this in the past, there's a reason for it. Like, in the 160, um, you know, it was because Spider-Man died and they didn't want people to, like, peek and see what happened without paying for it. And, you know, when issue number four of Ultimate's, uh, Ultimate Fallout came out, I was like, why is this polybag? But then after reading it, it was because they showed the new Spider-Man. So... There's usually a reason behind the polybagging. So even though I thought it was a cool polybag, after reading it, even though I liked it very much, I really saw no reason whatsoever to have a polybag except for to make it exciting and have people buy it. So there was no reason for it, though it, it was cool. I hope that's not going to be a regular thing now, that they'll just polybag something to have it sell more issues. Because... Uh, Without exception, the book was very good. I was very impressed with both Hickman's writing and uh, the artist's, uh, you know, drawings in the book here. Really well done. The pencils, the coloring, excellent. Uh, you got three storylines uh, going on, and all three of them were equally in interesting to me. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really cool also to see Thor and his fellow Nordic gods uh, have a brawl with Captain Britain and company. That was pretty cool. And then you had Tony Stark as Iron Man, you know, going off on a fleet of ships. So there's a lot of really cool action. And the storyline here was very, like, doomish, you know? Like, there's a lot going on. You see an explosion of, uh, of an atomic um, explosion and stuff. A lot of stuff going on, but it was paced really well and really made you interested in everything that was going on now i will say again uh it's probably for everyone's best interest that's jumping on here to yeah to definitely read the ultimate fallout especially just for the uh you know mr fantastic stuff you know read richard's you know stuff that's going on in this book his backstory for me anyway because i didn't read any of this stuff before with him in it it, it was very uh, informative, and I got a lot out of it, so that I knew exactly what was going on at this point with him. So I definitely got a lot out of that series, Ultimate Fallout, that applied here to uh, the first issue already. So I definitely recommend uh, you guys picking that up and, and reading that, even after the fact. It gives you a lot of information. So yeah, I really like this, and there was nothing negative whatsoever. A very, very strong beginning to what I'm hoping is going to be a really good book. Now I, now the, the bar is pretty high for uh, Ultimate Spider-Man and Ultimate X-Men. And I hope they all deliver. This one definitely did. And next up here for my Marvels is Captain America and Bucky, issue number 621. Now I mentioned before that how strong the issue number two of Captain America was and that this is technically issue number two of the uh, of the other cap cap book and wow you know what boom it was really strong it was really strong and again it's really hard to compare the art uh, art styles to the other captain american book as in this one the other captain america book is just beautifully drawn or this has a purpose to its artwork it's kind of retro and it should be because it's you know it's about the 1940s so there was a lot going on uh, in this book and i thought the artwork fit the tone of the book very well you know so but if i was going to say which has better artwork it would definitely be the other one but still this was very fitting to the story i liked it i liked it quite a bit at this point mm, man it's it's pretty much tied it's going to be a hard decision for me to pick whether i'm going to be keeping captain america and bucky or just the ca other captain america series i enjoyed this very much you know, I do like reading a lot of retro stuff, so if you don't care to read, you know, World War II storylines of Captain America, then I don't know how much you would like this. 
But I love those kind of storylines, and that's probably the reason why I love the Captain America movie, and I thought it was so well done, is because I, I enjoyed, you know, the uh, the World War II storytelling. So I'm really enjoying this book, and uh, it's, it's going to be really fun to see uh, these two books, and they're really both uh, hitting uh, triples at this point, and if if one of them hits a home run with the uh, last issue of the story arc, I'm not sure if it's going three or four issues or more, but uh, really good. I enjoyed this very much. Uh, next up here is Dark Angel Saga Chapter 3 on Uncanny X-Men number 13. And man, Marvel's doing a good job this week for me. This was a very good issue. Now, I have been very impressed so far with this whole Dark uh, Angel Saga. I really liked stuff that was going on, and being a longtime reader of X-Men, it was pretty cool to see these alternate versions of the X-Men interact with X-Force. And, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil too much, because it's very easy to talk about this and spoil a lot of it, uh, but this issue had a lot going for it. Uh, a big payoff to chapters before, and again, I, I'm really holding my tongue here because if I say just a couple things, I could spoil it for anybody who's not reading this yet and who wants to. Uh, all I'll say then is that it's a great book. I've been thoroughly impressed. This is one of the best story arcs, you know, on Ec Un Uncanny X Force, and that's saying a lot because it's been really good out of the gate. And this is coming from someone who wasn't really excited to read the, you know, Dark Angel saga because even though I like Archangel, he's not, you know, my favorite of the X-Force members. But that's not what I'm enjoying most about this. I'm enjoying the Wolverine part of this. Wolverine has a lot going on here in this series. And again, I can't say anything. So I'm going to have to do a review on the story arc uh, because at this point, every story arc since the beginning has been a definitely pick up on trade and at chapter three I can already say that this is going to be a definite uh, must pick up on trade excellent excellent all right now next up for my Marvel books um, let's see is an issue that came out already now I do want to say this to those of you who've been following me at all you know I've been dropping books and some of the books I dropped were ones I was still interested in, like FF here and and Avengers. And I, I don't have them on my saver, but I do pick them up when I see them on the shelf. It's a lot easier for me to pick up Avengers than it is for me to pick up FF. So, you know, I wasn't really bothered too much when the FF didn't come out. Um, wasn't Any extras weren't on the shelf, and I didn't have it in my saver, so... Uh, unfortunately, you know, I was reading some of the back issues and I really wanted to find out what happened. So I ended up uh, picking this up online and had it sent. And then I went in and picked up uh, the next issue, number 8, which came out last week. And because you really can't get it on my comic book store without it being on your saver, I said, oh, you know what, put it back on my saver. Put it back on my saver. FF is just really good reading, and even though I need to cut books, this has been the first one that, well, not first one, first one in a while that I put back on my saver after canceling it just recently. Uh, what, what does it for me is the writing. Hickman, again, he's really a good writer for me. The science fiction part of this is really good, and, you know, uh, Black Bolt, even though I hate his costume, and I didn't enjoy the artwork at first, the writing's so strong that, uh, you know, I just had to continue the storyline. And the artwork for me got a lot better. I'll have to check. I don't know if it's the same artist or not. But I, I like the artwork in issue number seven here. And I really liked it in issue number eight. And, uh, yeah, the artist changed. So I wasn't 100% thrilled with the artist that was on six and seven. But... I really like this artist that picked up uh, the book on 8. Now, I am so glad I picked this up because I'll just say this. Black Bolt speaks. And of those of you who know Black Bolt, you know what I'm talking about. He really doesn't speak too often. 
because you know when he speaks bad things happen to anyone around so it, this was a great issue and after reading issue number eight I was so glad I put it back on my saver and you know I'm just gonna have to cut another book because I just can't cut FF I was almost hoping that it would be bad so I'd be like yeah I'm glad I'm not gonna be picking this up anymore but it's just really good sci-fi uh, writing really great artwork at this point in issue number eight a lot of things is going on and like I said Black Bolt speaks and man great issue I am definitely on board with FF and I will not be cutting it I tried guys I tried it's just too good and last up here for my Marvels is yes it's Icon but you know Icon is Marvel so it goes in my Marvel books and you know issue number three of Kick-Ass number two I thought this would you know would come out a while back you know I totally understand I mean uh, Mark Miller and uh, John here they they both don't really do things fast but fortunately like Arthur Adams when they do come out they're always worth the wait and this is definitely worth the wait now again I think I don't know I think I might start to wait for a few issues to come out because because it takes such a long time to come out I find myself wanting to reread the last issue to get back in the storyline and, and as good as this was I kept on thinking how much better I would be if I just didn't read any of them and read issue number one all the way to the end because that's how I read the original Kick-Ass. Of course, I saw the movie, but I read it in its uh, hardback, you know, graphic novel form, and I just loved it. I really loved it. I thought it was great. I loved the artwork. I loved the writing. I loved the feel of the book. It felt original at the same time. It had that, you know, old school uh, comic book feel to it. It had that, you really felt like it was part of the real world type stuff. And of course, I'm talking about the first Kick-Ass right now. So I was so on board that I was finally going to be picking up single issues of Kick-Ass of Two Balls to the Wall. And I was like really excited and I'm very glad I did. Because like I said, I, I do wish I had the original first printings of the first Kick-Ass. It's just way too expensive to pick up. They're way overpriced at this point still. So I thought, you know, I, I want to enjoy the issues, uh, single issues. So. I've been picking them up and I've been reading them because I can't not read them. I just, I really want to see what happens. But there's such a big, you know, big, I don't know, was it a month, two months? I, I can't remember how long it's been. It's been a long time in between books that it's, it's a must go back and read last issue. And I love this issue. I thought it was really good. But I have to say, I think, I'm not sure yet. Depends how my, uh, how I feel when the next issue comes out, number four. And I think it's going to be an eight issue miniseries, the same as the first. So there's a long way to go here. I just keep on feeling that I'm going to enjoy it so much more if I just waited and read like three in a row or something like that. So, uh, but with that said, I love this issue. I thought everything that was building up to this point was uh, was paid off well in here. I love these new heroes, and I love what's going on. Again, here's another book I can't really say too much of without spoiling it. But uh, I will definitely be doing a uh, review of this series when it's complete. And it will probably be complete in like a year's time. <laughs> it's issue number three, and this thing has been coming out for a long time. Uh, so with that said, those are my Marvel books. Really strong. I enjoyed all of them this week. And I would love to hear from you guys, which books did you guys really like of Marvel? Did you like them as much as I did? And this is coming from someone who really likes DC. But, you know, I'm not a fanboy. I love my Marvel. I love my DC. Apples and oranges. I definitely I love my image as well. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.